I think it's a question that probably everybody in Western New York wants to know. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I mean, uh, but I was feeling good when I arrived at the building last Saturday night, too. And I don't know what happened after that. Well, I do. I, I know that there were some issues and, and they caught up to me before the game was over. Unfortunately, I was hoping to get through to the end of the game, but I was a little short on that. You know, with everything going on, I'm sure it was very difficult to have any idea about, you know, the outcry that was happening, let's say, for the people who are watching the game, for the people who are in this building. They're wondering what happened to RJ. Now that we're a week later and this has set in a little bit, I guess what does it mean to you to know just how much people care about you? Unfortunately, it's not the first time something like this has happened to me. And uh, I, I had an issue with a pacemaker and uh, before that even more serious when it was uh, throat cancer. And I found out just how many people in Western New York and Southern Ontario really do care and how interested they are in my health, I guess, and uh, what I do for the Buffalo Sabres. They're pretty enjoy it. They enjoy it anyway. And I just find that I, I, I'm overwhelmed by the number of messages I got. And, uh, but I shouldn't be because it's the third time around for me. And it's... It's pretty heartwarming. Buffalo certainly cares. You said, I mean, hundreds of text messages, is that fair? Oh, Dozens yeah. Of yeah. Calls? Uh, well, I, not that many people have my numbers, so <laughs> it wasn't that worried. But it, I had a lot of text messages and a lot of phone calls. You know. And from all around the league, too. So. We were briefly discussing. This is fun hockey. Finally, we're watching some fun hockey. How much better has this been year, this year been for you, just as somebody who's here basically every single night, to watch a team that even on the nights when they might not win, they're still a fun team to watch? Well, I guess I would put it this way. Um, if they weren't a fun team to watch as they are right now, I probably would take another couple of weeks off. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why he's the best, because there's the sound bite that's perfect. <laughs> I, I guess in your estimation, you've been around the game for so long. There's so many things that you can point to. Rasmus Dillon, you know, Jack Eichel playing like his hair is on fire. What do you think is the biggest difference between maybe this year and the team that we've seen the last couple of years? I don't think that there's a single thing that does it. I think collectively, uh, but certainly Dillon has inspired a lot of younger players to play as well as they possibly can. And I think Jack Eichel has been incredible when they put the C on him. I am not a, I'm not a proponent usually of putting a C on a young player. Uh, and I was wondering about this one, but he has just taken over. He's put the team on his back, and he's carried it along and uh, has done exceptionally well in that role without forgetting that he is the team's best player. You've seen a lot of special players over the years, and I don't want you to anoint anybody no. or anything like that, but the two guys you mentioned, Jack Eichel and Rasmus Dillon, there's a lot of reasons for this city and this fan base to be excited about the future just because they're so good. When, I guess, was the last time you've seen players like that? Special players like that? Yeah. Well, uh, LaFontaine and McGillney, wasn't, that's not a bad pair that were playing together when McGillney scored a whole ton of goals. And um, There have been other players over the years, too, with the French Connection, and, and I go back so many years. But I hate to anoint somebody as being the best player uh, that I've ever seen. Dominic Hashik was absolutely incredible as far as I'm concerned. As long as Dom played in a Buffalo uniform, he's the best goaltender I have ever seen play the position in the National Hockey League. Do you think, and it's still early, we're, we're not even into the new year yet, do you think that this is going to be a playoff team? Do you think you're going to be calling games in the playoffs? Oh, this absolutely. Year? I'll be really disappointed if that doesn't happen. I'm almost positive that they're going to be in the playoffs. It's only a matter of where they're going to end up. How fun is playoff hockey? Oh, it's great. Well, I think, I don't remember back now. I'm going back several years. But it's, it's a lot of fun. Things change uh, a lot. The game seems to change a lot. The fan base is still there, but they seem to get noisier. That's absolutely right. So, 76 years old, why do you keep coming back? <laughs> Do you want to know the truth? Yeah. I have no idea what the hell to do if I don't do this. No idea whatsoever. When you're in the booth, I guess, I know it's a job. And I, I know that sometimes we get passive. Like even for me, sitting 100 yards to the right of you, it's cool that our job is to get to sit here and watch hockey. On a night like tonight, after what happened a week ago, 
does it put it into perspective a little bit more? Or are you somebody who comes into this booth every single time and you realize that you're doing what you love and this is what you've always wanted to do? I'm approaching this like any other game. Uh, and I'm quite frankly trying to forget what happened a week ago because uh, I, I, you know, my wife was watching the game, for instance, when all this took place. And of course, she's going, where'd you go? <laughs> you know? So uh, that was my, my number one partner was uh, very concerned that something had happened and the Sabres, uh, thank goodness, got a hold of her immediately, so. You know, it's, I mean, this is a big game for the Sabres and everything. It's a big game for you. So many people reached out, like you mentioned. I guess you, you would never be able to respond to all of them, but use this as a platform if you, if you want to. What would you tell those people who were concerned about you, who reached out to you, who wanted to know what was going on? Well, I just thank them very, very much for being concerned and for being excellent Buffalo Sabres fans. And I know there's so many of them now, particularly when the team is playing a lot better, that uh, I've heard from a lot more of them. Do you realize what you mean to the community, like fully? I know obviously so many people have reached out, but do you think you have a grasp on just how much people care about you here? I think I do. Uh, um, only because if I go to lunch, if I go to uh, one of the supermarkets, um, I hear from a lot of people as I'm walking around. So I, it's not a surprise. It's really not a surprise. It's heartwarming and I, I, it's gratifying, but it's not surprising. Glad you're doing well. Thank you so much, Rick. Thank you. Appreciate the time. See you.